And in this video, I'm going to show you on show you on how to how to fix an issue with game freezing and as well operating system freezing in your PS3. And I know some of my friends requested this. And here you go, man. This is the video for you. And see if there's anyone else will help you help this help help them figure this out. So basically, what it is, it's going to do is it's going to delete any corrupted files and as well. Um, Fix any issues with trying to game reading, reading even even if the, the disk is clean. Sometimes it is the PS3. So what you're going to do, we're going to start is we're going to turn off the console. Keep your TV on because you're going to need it. Be sure when you have when you do before you turn it off when you turn all your that's off. Make sure your make sure no mic is in the in the PS3, and make sure your USB cable is connected to your your controller to prepare for a restore file system for, for the safe mode procedure and then we're going to go to the console and here's the power button you're going to press the first time you're going to you're going to press it and you're going to hear two random beeps then that could be rapidly but it's fine it's normal then the system after you hear the two beeps the system's going to turn off and you're going to have to do it again so let's see See how the system how I turn red. Now you're gonna press it again and hold it. You're gonna hear a beep, and then you're gonna hear two rapid beeps. After you hear the two rapid beeps, let go of the power button. There you go. Now we're gonna go back to the TV, and you're gonna see a message. This message is connect connect controller using a USB cable, and then press the PS button. Then we're gonna go. Now you're gonna see these. You're gonna see options from six options from restart system, restore default settings, restore file system, rebuild database, restore PS3 and system update. I'm gonna explain before we continue what each function does. Reboot system, all it does is reboots the reboots the system out of the safe mode in order to go to just normal boot mode. So um that's basically it. Restore default settings. Restore default settings, what it is is basically what it does is it doesn't format your games or anything all it does is restores like such as system settings um and stuff like that but i'm not fully sure i forgot if it, it will i think it will reset your psn but not your activation so that's a good thing to look out restore file system this is restore file system is a function that that tell, allows you to instantly delete corrupted files the safe in the safest way and to clean up any crap that the PS3 or game does not currently use. And um, the re rebuild database allows the operation system to be rebuilt from a previous firmware after updating and allows it to rebuild to a current firmware that's currently on, deleting any files that was previously on an old version of the operating system. Restore PS3 system, which this does is will format the whole console with a hard drive and everything and in fact reset the whole console back to my factory specs and this is one thing you don't want to do unless you really need to and this is really good if your system does not boot or anything and system update system update allows you to update the system with in safe mode without having to use an operating system only the way it needs so first of all we're going to go to restore file system and and it says are you sure you want to restore the file system on storage and you click yes now prepare and I'm going to show you proof on that this does work and it won't delete anything and then we're going to do it again. So now it's going to ask you if you have any kind of connection, if you have HDMI, then you just press play buzz button, then you press X, select yes. Don't worry, this will be saved once after this, so once it reboots. Usually, most overall, this operation does take less time depending on how long you have not done it to your P, how long you left your PS3 collecting corrupted files, and I'm gonna continue this when this is done, and and show you the next step we're gonna be doing. Back, and um, we're gonna continue on this, and um, now it's completely close to done. It wasn't that long; it was just like a few steps, a few minutes, and. You know, and then the system will automatically re reboot. <laughs> mm. 
There you go. The system is gonna run a little bit faster than normal, and this is normal, and you're gonna notice a big, huge improvement in your games when you do play, because they're gonna run a little bit more faster rate than they usually normally do. Then press your PS button. You're gonna notice how fast it is. Next working thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the system again. Let this basically turn off, and we're gonna go through the same process again. Press it once, it will beep twice, but not rapidly, the first time. There you go, and then press it again. You hear a beep and then two rapid beeps, then you let go again. One, two, three. There you go. Now we go back to the PS3 system, to the TV. Press the USB, make sure you keep your USB plugged in. Then we're gonna go to rebuild database. Warning, this will delete your messages, but it'll tell you this. It says, are you sure you want to rebuild the database on the system storage? If you rebuild the database messages, playlists, and other saved information will be deleted. This means, this means that it won't delete like saved games or anything like that. It'll, mostly what it does delete is the playlists and messages. Um, and like created like you know create just create playlist and just message anything else will not be deleted so don't worry about that but if it's as well as corrupt the files that were previously on here so this just deletes, puts it in more of a delete trash so but it will not format your console will not delete your games nothing it will, it will not lose nothing all it does is rebuild the operating system to the current firmware that you're currently on and this can take certain time like probably like probably 15 20 minutes because this process takes mm, not a long time but it takes a bit of time to to do it so be aware that um have something to do before you do this and it says that there's a database on the system storage will be rebuilt this is also applies to PS Vita, PS4, you know, but they might do it differently than what PS3 does. But I will continue this once it's done, and I'm gonna show you on how that all my stuff is on there. All right, one. This out now it's at ninety percent, and it was a couple of minutes before, like probably like five, five, ten minutes, um, that it was doing this. And I know that's gonna suck that doing this takes a little bit of time, but at the same time it's worth it. It maintains your console from internally and um, it's a great way to not have less issues than before so it's close to being done and we're I'm gonna show you on that it doesn't delete anything such as personal data such as games save games or music or movies or anything like that your Pearson account it won't delete none of that all it will do is delete playlists. I don't really have playlists because I don't really listen to music on my PS3 except Pandora. And um, that's pretty much it. And watch movies via disc or Netflix or YouTube. So there you go. It's 100 now. And it's going to reboot. You can see myself inside the thing. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit before it restarts. It's just deleting the last few. Just rebuilding the last few things. And boom. You'll hear a beep, like you see. You'll hear a beep when it tells you when it's done. Then it'll reboot. So. Uh, we're waiting to reboot. Where's my controller? Now you can disconnect your controller. Press the PS button. This is till it turns one of them. And I'm going to show you on how smooth it runs now. And I'm going to show you all my games are still here. I'm going to show you my saves. All my save games are here. As you see. 
my game that is here. Oops, shit. So the only thing that's not here is the messages. Any, there's no messages in my inbox because, of course, I deleted them. And there's no playlist because I said I don't have any playlists. So I don't know, it doesn't really matter. But it won't delay anything. Don't reset it, it won't reset anything. But that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, if you have any questions, you can have to put the comment section in below. Like the video, share, and as well, again, subscribe. And see y'all next time.